Hi there. My name is Laura. In this video we will talk about the risk treatment process and different consideration before choosing a risk treatment option. After performing risk evaluation and ranking, it is very important to respond to risks in a sensible manner. The purpose of responding to risk is to bring it in line with the defined risk appetite for the enterprise. Risk treatment is the process of selecting and implementing appropriate security controls to modify or reduce the level of risk. There are four commonly accepted categories of risk responses or treatments. These are risk acceptance, risk mitigation, risk avoidance, and risk transfer. Risks that are within the organization's risk appetite are usually accepted. For the risks that are outside the appetite, the company must implement appropriate security controls. The purpose of risk treatment process is to apply the controls that have the lowest costs and meet the business goals effectively. Before selecting the options for treating risk, it is very important to take some factors into consideration. Let's review them one by one. The company's business requirements play an important role while selecting controls to manage risk. For example, the company requires a legacy version of an application to perform some critical business function. Using this application can present some security issues and make patching difficult. This will require the use of security controls that support the business objectives and its requirements. Risk treatment also needs to consider legal or regulatory requirements. Depending upon the industry or jurisdiction in which the company operates, the company must take different requirements into account. It should treat the non-compliance risk like any other organizational risk. Risk treatment options are highly dependent on organizations' available resources. In order to deal with the risk, the company may require investment in additional resources such as acquiring technology infrastructure, hiring or training personnel, conducting security testing and much more. The company's resources for treating risk and budgetary allocations therefore dictate how the company deals with a specific risk. An organization's risk appetite also influences its risk treatment decisions. Some organizations are willing to accept more risks in the pursuit of its objectives. On the other hand risk-averse organizations may choose to be careful depending upon their unique situation. The cost-benefit analysis of a control compares the annualized cost of controls with the potential cost of loss in absence of required controls. A control should not be implemented unless the annualized cost of loss exceeds the annualized cost of the control itself. This means that if a facility is worth $100,000, it does not make sense to spend $150,000 trying to protect it. It is important to figure out what you are supposed to be doing before you start treating risk. A proper risk response strategy therefore takes these factors into account before selecting controls. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!